case y'all forgotten, it's time to play Judge Jamie. Today, I've got to, had to bring Frank in, move him up to the big set this morning, Tom. So we're Come ready away. to go. Look, as y'all know, y'all are just a number to me. This is a wrong. And this would be a right. Zach is over there. It's 12. You're 11, 1, 2, and 3. Very Let's get good. it started this morning. Great. Y'all folks will learn at home, too. Thank y'all for playing. They just announced Polaris deals coming in. Yes. <laughs> get this. I read in the candidate this morning. The city of Madison did not know it was even coming until they saw it on the news. Really? <laughs> Friday. Mark did a great job at Mark wow. Yarbrough. How many jobs? Will the, you'll put it up yet, Brad? Because it's on there. How many jobs is that going to be? 1,700. 2,000. 2,000. Give it to number three over here. Mark Yarbrough did a great job keeping that quiet and everything else about that. Yeah, Madison didn't even know about it. 2,000 jobs, paying about $18, $20 an hour. Should be finished second, third quarter in 16. What is the latest price of, uh, what's the oil right now? A ga uh, price of oil a barrel. $53. What? $53? 52 That's a... What's that? Who's playing on their microphone? I can hear it in my ear. I'm sorry. My All bad. right. Where is the cheapest... <laughs> San Francisco has the highest gas at 266 a gallon. Where is the cheapest gas in America? Madison, Alabama. Georgia. What wow. city in America? Hmm, how does that work? We don't know. And here's the answer. <laughs> Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mm. Spell Albuquerque. Number one. <laughs> a, A L B U R Q U. No. Oh, Number right. three. A Al <laughs> Albuquerque. A L B U R Q U E. A L B U R Q E. A L B U Q E R Q U E. Hey, can I say something, Judge? Yeah. Yesterday. I was wanting to get gas yeah. Saturday. It was a dollar ninety-eight in Athens, the cheapest I could find. I drove all the way to Madison and got it for thirteen cents cheaper at the county line. That's crazy. Well, That's I drove ten crazy. minutes down the road. Maple, got, didn't I, I say thirteen like cents them a the gallon. Twenty now. Every time I fill up, now he shows oh, up in here. Number. Oh yeah, now we get the city council president in here. We need to get, I mean, not president, ain't president yet. He probably will be before long. <laughs> All right, in what year? There's a big squabble going on right now, Martin Luther King's family, about the Nobel Peace Prize and his traveling Bible. Your cup is still here, sir. There it is. What year did he win the Nobel Peace Prize? Uh, I don't know. He didn't. He did. He did. 1964. And boy, George Wallace Jr. is upset about the movie Selma portraying George as a racist. So, just so y'all knew that. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who is the new host of the late night show with David Letterman? I can't stay up that late. Oh, uh, Stephen Colbert. That was right. When does, it, when does he start? May or June? Yeah, when does it start? Fall, May, June, fall, I don't September 8th. All right. Fall, oh, okay, I got it. All right, right now, I am considered basically a genius. Really? Uh, yes. Golly, uh -oh. we're in trouble. Who did uh -oh. that survey? What is verbal intelligence? Oh, yeah, he told me this uh, the other day. Someone that's got a lot, a lot of gout. Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of gout. <laughs> is that what you say? <laughs> You've never had gout. Huh? That would be you. Hey, number six. Abby, set number six up over there by himself where he won't feel so bad over there. <laughs> we'll get a shot of him. Joseph Cannon playing the game. And he's making his own coffee, Frank. Yeah, I noticed oh. that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I call it. Worrying. Yes. If you're a worrier, you're a you have you're super verbal, intelligence. Verbally That's me. Y'all know that? The question, we're just warming up for you, Joseph. Waiting Not on you. Intelligence. All right, here we go. Uh, what is, and the survey says, what is now considered life's necessities? Life necessities. Health insurance. <laughs> That's a uh, <laughs> cell phone. Smartphone, yeah. Smartphone would be in there, Frank. Now, with our water freezing, let me give a shout out to Chuck and everybody at All Star Plumbers the other day for getting me thawed quickly. A uh, hot shower sure was good, but nowadays life's essentials are the internet and a smartphone. I know Coffee and then a hot shower, huh? If there's no internet at that right, Here's an easy one for you. A seven foot one former NBA player, 29 year old, was arrested for breaking in over the weekend. He played four 
four years in the NBA. Broke in at seven foot one. <coughs> How much money did he blow in four years? Five million dollars. Five million. Twenty million. Twenty million would be the answer. Really? <laughs> now, if you're a thief and you're seven foot one, somebody's gonna recognize you. <laughs> yeah. Thief huh? the spot. But if these guys blow that money. That's crazy. Twenty that million crazy. dollars. Goodness. All right. 20 million. Here's one for our attorney up here, number oh, one. Lord, here we go. George Zimmerman was arrested again Friday for domestic violence. Oh, God. Not smart. What, what did, did his attorney say was the reason? And what? why was he arrested for domestic violence? I saw this. I forgot. I don't know. Yeah, he Mr. Slapped his girlfriend for jaywalking. over there. What? He threw something Slapped his girlfriend out. for jaywalking. Threw a wine bottle yes. at her. Mm. That'll do it. But here's what his attorney said. George hasn't been very lucky with the ladies. <laughs> yeah, okay. What would your advice be for him, our attorney up here? Uh. <laughs> Don't drink. Yeah. All right. Gosh. Mr. Cannon, thank you for playing the first time up here this morning. Thank you Is for having me. Is this his first time? Yeah, he's filling in for Jimmy Gill this morning. All right. We'll get some good stuff out of him in just a second. He'll tell us all we need to know about everything. He's not huh? going to tell you anything he should. What is the best city in Alabama to get a job in? Huntsville. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huntsville. Huntsville ranks 96, but second in the really? state. Yeah, I thought you Alabama. said in Alabama. Well, I did, but that's not it. There's that's one before that. And it ain't Athens that's either. number two. Mr. Cannon. The I thought it was a no-brainer. Montgomery would be the first oh. answer. Then Hustle, then Birmingham. I'm just leading y'all into Alabama's oldest resident died December 2nd. How old was she? 105. 104. 106. 106. No, she wasn't 120. 106. 110. Wow. All right, here's one again for our esteemed attorney up here. Boy, he put me on here. All these questions. Up in New York, not New York City. New, New York, York City. City. A woman got arrested for driving around Walmart for DUI. She could not figure out which way to go home. That's what was she bad. drinking? Too much. Um, Natural life. Yeah, Listerine. <laughs> Close. Alcohol. Vanilla extract. Oy. What is the alcohol percentage in that? I just heard that not too long ago. 20%? 40%? 41%. Oh, and now there'll be a rush now. Oh, then all the hey, that's the old it. news. I used to, we used to sell that at the market. Well, why didn't you answer it? Well, I didn't know the percent. <laughs> Vanilla. All right. Is what is the poorest county in America? Money, uh, yearly income wise. It's in West Virginia. Uh, it's close. Yeah, it should be one of them. They got the number one basketball team. Kentucky. McCreary County, Kentucky. Kentucky. Huh. What is the poorest county in the state of Alabama at $22,186 a year for Will yearly Pons. income? Talladega. That's Mississippi right there. Talladega. Will. No, Talladega ought to be, but that's wrong. <laughs> Wilcox. Wilcox is wrong. It's probably right next to Wilcox. Connecticut. Gadsden. Sumner County. Mm -hmm. What's the average income statewide? Average in the state of Alabama. Can't read that. Thirty-five thousand. Forty-two thousand. Forty-three. Got to go to the councilman over here. What number are you, sir? I can't see. Number six. Number six. <laughs> uh, Forty-three thousand two hundred and fifty-three dollars. That's close. All right. Has anybody ever bought a pot-bellied pig as a pet? My no. wife tried. Yes. You got I, one? My wife Not tried, yet. and we didn't. It would have been bacon. Right. This woman oh. bought one, and it was supposed to get up to, weigh nine pounds, they bought it. It was supposed to get up to 70 pounds, and it is even toilet trained. No. Yes. You're kidding. Esther, how much does it weigh now? <laughs> Maddie. <laughs> how much does it weigh now? 120. Oh, my 120. Oh, oh. That's all wrong. 150. 300. 400 pounds. Yes. Yeah. Y'all don't know your sows, do you? 300. Oh my goodness, look 390. He's sleeping with it. Six seventy. Yuck. 
Oh, oh my goodness. To get up to 70 pounds? <laughs> she wears it well. Uh, no, no, no. That's, that's, that's not a pot. That's not a pot. That's, 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 that's a regular That's a regular sausage, ain't it? I bet she bought that at dawn days. <laughs> yeah, that's a regular pot. I had one once. That thing got out of control, too. Zach, give me some words of wisdom. Tell me about Ardmore basketball. Well, uh, Ardmore, they say, is getting ready to set up for the county term return. First time they've held that in years. And that gym is nice. And I'm actually going to be broadcasting some basketball games up here in the next few weeks. So, uh, so now you're doing football and now you're broadcasting basketball. Well, I didn't. I, I helped out with the football, Ardmore football team. Now I'm just going to be broadcasting some he, basketball. So. He's holding out he's on the baseball contract. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm out. Okay, here we go. <coughs> come, this comes from Zig. A good life is when you assume nothing, do more, smile often, dream big, laugh a lot, and realize how blessed you are for what you have. <laughs> if anybody dreams big, buddy, it's me. <laughs> All right, Thank here you. we got two other questions. Perfect for everybody that's in here this morning. Football season ended last night. College, Ohio State beat us, won the yeah. national championship. The new preseason top five is out on CBS this Already morning. Out. What are the top five? Oh, I'm sorry. Shoot. Ohio State, Alabama. Alabama. Okay. Ohio, State Ohio, State Ohio State won. Everybody agree with that, right, Joseph? Oregon, too. Uh, that would be a. Oh, really? Florida State is two. What? Really? Alabama three. Alabama three. Four, Oregon two. four. No, wait a minute, I'm wrong. TCU is two. Oh. TCU? As far as Ohio you State, you're right. right. TCU, Bama, Florida State, Baylor. Where is Auburn? Seven. Six. 35th. Nine. Close. 13th. 13th. They're 13th with four. How many losses? Five? 13th, yes. No, what, what, what were they? Them guys think. Ole Miss and LSU oh, are Where's seven and eight. Come on, Brad. Five losses and 13. Really? All right, last question. <laughs> Might not be up your alley, but I'll ask you anyway. 145,000 men were surveyed. What to those men is the perfect woman? <laughs> okay. <laughs> What she look like? <laughs> um, he just had an anniversary. It looks like his wife. Who does she look like, or what does she look like? What does she look like? What are some features that she has? Her smile. Her Zach, don't nobody look at no woman for a smile. No, there's a shot of you. No. I, I, I'm gonna guess uh, five foot six, dark hair. Named Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer for you, That's but a wrong answer. for us. <laughs> Bright brown eyes. Or... What do they look for? Frank, you'll take anything, so what's your guess? <laughs> Big boobs. <laughs> oh, no. That's a wrong, but that was a right. That's a right. You boob. asked and I told you. So, time you get Frank. big boobs and a smile together with Zach, y'all got it made. There's Zach hanging out with some more women right now. Uh, y'all, there's three important three things. things that the you perfect guys woman. Look for. You don't fit in 